Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I have a little technique for you that I'm calling Spritz the Glitz. Um, what we can do is we can color Stampin' Up's da Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, any color that we want it to be, by using Stampin' Up Spritzers, the re inkers and some rubbing alcohol. So let's get started spritzing the glitz. Okay, so to get started, of course, we're going to need our Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, sparkly, sparkly goodness. Get two sheets in the pack and die cut or punch image or images that you want to spritz and color with. I've gone ahead and put some rubbing alcohol in here. And you can put as much or little rubbing alcohol in. What I do is if I know I, you know, I tried a color and I loved it, this is the watermelon wonder, I just go ahead and make a whole container of it. So um, if you're just going to test it, just put a little bit in. There's really no right or wrong on what you use. I'm going to make a perfect plum color here today to show. And um, I'm going to take my re-inker and add several drops. The more drops you add, the darker it gets. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, for this amount, I'm going to do maybe five. If you try it and it's not quite intense enough or dark enough for you, just open up the spritzer, add a couple more drops, shake them back up, and you'll be ready to go. That was the cap I just took off. So I want to screw that on, make sure it's nice and tight, put the cap on, and give it a good shake. Okay, so now what we need is we need to make sure that we have a spray box. And so, of course, I just have my handy dandy Stampin' Up! box here. You can see I've been playing around with lots of color. And I'm going to use this as my spray box, making sure that the spritzer spray nozzle is pointing in towards the box. And I'm just going to squirt. Oh my gosh, gorgeous! And you just keep squirting until you get the color saturation that you'd like. And, you know, when you're done, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And all of a sudden we have purple plum, or perfect plum, dazzling diamond paper, or glimmer paper. Love it, love it, love it. And that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. So if you wanted to make it a little darker, put it back in there, spritz a little more. But I'll show you then some, excuse my arm here, some of my finished touches. Oops. Okay, so here's um, the butterfly die set. And again, you know, I used two tones on that one when I spritzed. <gasps> Is that not glimmery gorgeousness? The elegant butterfly punch. Love it. Love it, love it. Here is, like I said, my new obsession is spraying these with the Watermelon Wonder. I love that. Love it. Oh my gosh. Can't get enough of it. And so, again, here is what it could look like on a finished project. This is some of my Christmas in July cards. You know, just kind of toned it down on the background on those. Again, just some samples. And then here's this butterfly again. And this was made with tip top taupe on that. So now I have a nice tan glimmer paper. So if you're like me and you give this a try, chances are you're going to go back and keep getting more and more <laughs> of these spritzer bottles um, so that you have spritzers on hand when you're ready to go. It's kind of, I'm going to just warn you guys, it's addictive. It is so addictive to know that you can have glimmer paper in any of the coordinating colors simply by getting the Stampin' Spritzers, the re-inker of your choice, and you're ready to go with lots and lots of color combination. Hope you liked my little tip and happy crafting. Bye-bye.